You can customize the ribbon, like if you want to add additional commands to any one of these tabs on the ribbon, or better yet, create your own custom tab and add commands to it. Just right click anywhere on the ribbon and go down to customize the ribbon. Now on the left hand side you have a list of commands you can add over to the tabs on the ribbon. Well, it's popular commands. If you want to see all the commands that are available to add to the tabs on the ribbon, click on the drop down arrow and go to all commands. It's got it numerically and then alphabetically. And then over to the right, all the check boxes that are checked are the tabs that are being displayed on the ribbon. And if you want to add one to it that's not checked, well, check it. And then to be able to add commands to like, let's say, the home tab, notice that the home tab has a minus sign. When you click on it, it collapses it. And you can see a plus, meaning that there's more to be shown. When you click on it, it shows you the rest. And what is it showing you? The groups. So the first group on the home tab is the clipboard. You can see it there, clipboard. And then it goes font to font and so on. So top to bottom goes from left to right on the ribbon. Now you can't add commands to default groups. Well, let me show you. With it selected over here, when I click on 3D color and click add, it says you can't do it. It has to be a custom group. Okay. So to create a custom group on the home tab, I just have to select anywhere on there, including any one of the groups, and then come down here and click new group. So it adds it there. And then the default name is new group, which doesn't work for me. So with it selected, I can come down here and click rename and then call it something spiffy because everything we do is spiffy here at Dreamforce. And then you can add a symbol to it. Meaning that, as you recall in the previous training video, when you right click in a blank area of the group to add it to the quick access toolbar, there's got to be a symbol that represents it so you can click on it to expand it to see it on the quick access toolbar. And that symbol is going to be a happy face. And then click OK, and there we go, we got our spiffy custom group. Now we can go ahead and add commands to it with it selected. And let's go back to the popular commands here. And then just go ahead and select a command and click Add and add whatever you'd like to add to it when you're done. That's it. Unless, of course, you want to be able to reorder this. So if the email is supposed to be the first command in this group, then with it selected, go up, up. Or better yet, if you want the group to be the first group on the Home tab, not the clipboard, then with it selected, go click up, up, up. And then one last thing before I go ahead and click OK and show you the work, let's add a new custom tab. So click on New Tab. And there it is. We got the name of the new tab, new tab. So let's go ahead and with it selected, click on rename, special tab, and click OK. And then it added the default new group. So let's go ahead and rename that to whatever we want it to be. With it selected, click rename. We can call that format. Then have a symbol to represent it. Maybe like a butterfly. Oh, that's sweet. Click OK. And then add some commands to it. Maybe like font size color let's do that and if you want you can keep on adding additional groups new group and then rename we'll do something generic like group b and then a symbol to represent it like the paint bucket spilling over click ok and then add some commands to it you get the idea and by the way this special is going to be the second tab on the ribbon because the home tab is the first tab. So click okie dokie and let's take a look at our work. So on the home tab, remember we added the custom group and it's called spiffy. So we got our commands here to cut, email, or delete sheet columns. And when I right click in a blank area of the group to add it to the quick access toolbar, our happy face represents it. So when I click on it, it shows me the group. Sweet. And then we have our special custom tab. Isn't that special? And we've got our two groups, Format and Group B. So when I right click to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, there's the paint bucket. Click on it to see the group. And then also, we weren't able to see the Developer tab until we checked it, and now we can see it on the ribbon. Now let's go ahead and right click and go back to Customize the Ribbon. So in the process, let's say you made a lot of changes to it, and you're like, oh, I made so many changes, what a mess. I wish I could get it back to the way it was without having to go through all the work. Well, you can by coming down here and clicking on the reset drop down arrow and you get two options. You can reset only a selected ribbon tab, so if you got a selected ribbon tab that you made some customizations to it like the home tab, with it selected click on the drop down arrow and just do that tab or do all customizations. Now that includes not only everything on the ribbon but also up here on the quick access toolbar. It's going to get rid of the paint bucket, the happy face, the open and the save as. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh well, it won't take me long to add a couple of commands to it than as opposed to resetting everything here. And before I do that, 
If you want to keep your tab but you don't want to see it, you can always uncheck it and then click OK and special is gone, right? But it's not gone completely because you can right click on it, go back to customize the ribbon and then check it to have it reappear. So let's go ahead and click on reset and let's do reset all customizations and it says delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations. Yes. Click okie dokie. And there you go, the happy face is no longer there, or the paint bucket, or the open folder, or the save as, the special tab's gone, the developer tab's gone, but the acrobat is now showing, because that was the default here. So if I want to get rid of that, right click, again you got customize the ribbon, uncheck, click okie dokie, and we're back to where we started. And I just need to go ahead and add a few more commands like the save as, right click, customize the quick access toolbar, scroll down, Save as, and open. Click okie dokie. Now we're back to where we started. Another way to customize the ribbon is to actually hide it. So if you want more space vertically here, go ahead and come up here and click on the ribbon display options, and you can auto hide it. Right now it's showing the tabs and commands. You can also just show the tabs or completely hide it, and it's gone. Well, if you want to bring it back up, then just come up to the top until you can see a green bar shooting across. Click on it opens up temporarily so you can select a command on it. When you click on it or click off of it, it'll hide again. So to bring it back up, if you want to change to the ribbon display options, then go ahead and come up here, click on it, click on ribbon display. How about if we just show the tabs? Select that, so you just get the tabs. That way if you need to access something on the data tab, well, you know where it's at, click on it, opens it up temporarily, go ahead and click on a command. When you click on it or click off of it, it collapses again. And then to bring it up completely so you see both the tabs and the commands, then just come up here, click on the ribbon display, and say you want tabs and commands. Or you can just go ahead and double click really fast on a tab. and does the auto hide so you just see the tabs. Double click on it really fast and it keeps it up even when you click off of it or click on another command.